Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Tyrese Maxey said, I am the captain of this ship now. Everybody better fall in line. And I'm about to start calling him Max because he about to get the big boy Max, the all NBA Max, double cross to the side step from three cash. Now a transition in and out to the behind the back punch loses him. I don't think people realize he's averaging 30 on 50% from the field with Andy swagging like this when he shoots the J. And I really like his counters going downhill between the legs snatched to the step back. And Max is about to get a lot of zeros coming from Philly. And I'm not talking about the fans wearing his jersey. I'm talking about that new contract with a lot of zeros. Now to the flip action. Look what he does. One dribble pull up to the fade. That's tough. Now to the flip out of pistol. Takes one dribble with the left. Gets to the pull up. And I don't think people realize this. She's shooting 50% from the field. 56% from the three. And 91% from the free throw. So instead of saying he's shooting 50, 40, 90. He's shooting 50, 50, 90. Which is OD. Maxi is definitely a person to keep an eye on. Because he's over there going crazy in Philly. He's crying for sure. So y'all just seen that clip of Tyrus Maxi And... He's one of these five players that have been the most surprising this year. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the five most surprising NBA players that are breaking out this season. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back again with another video. So, these five players are all-star caliber, damn near superstar caliber, one of a couple of these players. And we're going to dive right into Tyrese Maxey, since we all seen that clip. Listen, the 76 is trading James Harden was the best thing that ever happened to Tyrese Maxey. Because now we've seen a little bit of glimpses of Tyrese Maxey last year. We know what kind of score. We already know he, he, he could score the ball, right? But he is displaying his talent to the highest level now with just Joel and B on this team. Because now he's using his quickness, he's using his agility, he's using his ball handling skills, he's using his layup package, he's using his step back from and shooting the three ball at a high level to the highest caliber he has ever had now. Now we're really seeing the potential of Tyrese Massey. He's an all-star. He's had a 50-point game this year. He's averaging around, he's averaging 26 points per game. About seven assists a game. Him and Joel and B are the perfect duo now. And now you just got nice role players around him. Seven assists look good. They look way better without James Harden now. And Tyrese Massey is really doing his thing. He's going to be awesome. He should be all star this year. How he's been hooping. I knew he's good, but he's been really good this year. So that's the first player. We're not going to do this in order. This is I'm just going to say straight up. Number two, now this person, this person is playing damn near like the best point guard in the NBA. We got a real question ourselves. Is he the best point guard? Is he playing like the best point guard in the NBA right now? His name is also Tyrese. Tyrese Halliburton. Now, I'm one of those people where I thought Tyrese Halliburton was overrated. I knew he was good, but people were saying he was better than Anthony Edwards. People were saying he was better than these... Then these other guys in the league that's already established themselves. He's better than Shay. Like, calm down. Pump the brakes. Calm down. Chill out. Relax, okay? But we have to question ourselves. Is he really playing like the best point guard in the NBA? Okay, we got Curry. We got him. Curry's been hooping. We know we expected what we we're going to get from Curry. But the problem is, it's not getting to W's. He has no other help in his team. Tyrese is affecting the game to another level we, have, we haven't seen in a long time. Honestly, other than, we, obviously, we got Luka over there in Dallas. Luka's probably the best right now. Okay, gotcha. But Tyrese, I, right now, Tyrese is at least top five. The man is averaging 25 points. 12 assists. He's number one in elite assists. He's also top five in turnovers. He doesn't turn the ball over. As much as he passes the ball, he doesn't turn the ball over. And his scoring with his facilitating, he has an amazing vision with the ball, amazing IQ. He impacts his team to another level where we didn't expect any of to be 
a, a team to be reckoned with in the East. They have the number one office in the league because of this man, Tyrese Halliburton. He's looking like he's looking like mini version of Showtime. He's been hooping. So he's definitely most one of the most surprising players. Number three, our friend Sangoon. Listen, not many people is talking about this player, man. I'm going I'm to say straight up what Alfred Sangoon is. He's the Aldi version of Jokic. Yeah, I said it. He's the Aldi version of Jokic. He's averaging 20 points, 8 rebounds, almost 9 rebounds, 7 assists on 58% field goal percentage. He has great vision of the ball, great IQ. He knows how to bang down low. He knows how to get rebounds. And he knows how to get to the free throw line. He, he does the little things really good. And he knows how to shoot the three ball. He uses his body. Now, he needs to get a little bit bigger. He's not like Yoki size. Don't get it wrong. But Sangoon is one, is a big reason why this Houston Rockets team is definitely in a playoff contention. Because this man knows how to impact the game. Right. He knows how to get players involved. It's not just him scoring the ball because he can score at a high, high level if he wants to. But his vision with the ball, it for a center, only Jokic is way better than him at, at that. He's definitely up there. Sangoon has really, really shocked me. I knew he was good, but he's really, he's really showing himself this season. Probably another All Star. Number four, Jalen Williams for the OKC Thunder. I'm going to tell you how Jalen Williams reminded me of. You know when you play in 2K Park? You know how you have Hall of Fame, this, Hall of Fame, that? He's a Hall of Fame slasher. That's what he is. He's a Hall of Fame slasher. And he gets to the basket with explosiveness. You're not going to block him. He would, he would boom on you. He gets to the basket with ease. He knows how to do the little things. He knows how to get the, the offensive rebounds. He knows how to push the ball up the floor. He knows how to shoot the three ball. Now, if you shoot the three ball a little better... Man, he's going to be a problem. He's going to be a problem. He's already a problem. We already know what he expected the rest of the team. This is, the whole OKC Thunder team is a whole surprise, including Josh Pettigrew, uh Giddy. Yeah, Josh Petal Giddy. That needs to be off the team. But anyways, this whole OKC Thunder is just doing their thing. They've been hooping. And this player has been under the radar, Jalen Williams. He's been a big impact other than Shea and Chet. On his team. And he's averaged around 17 points. He's going to improve even more. And so the last player. That's been the most surprised. Now this player. Listen. He's already been good. Right. But. He disappointed me in the playoffs. So it looks like he's coming out with adventures this year. DeMontis Sabonis. He's hooping y'all. He's averaged around 20 some points. He's second in the league rebounding at 12 rebounds per game. And his biggest thing that's really surprised me and really impressing me right now, he's shooting 63% from the field, ladies and gentlemen. He's third in the league. Sabonis has been hooping. We st- I, I'm, I expect to see what I'm doing, what I'm seeing from De'Aaron Fox. I knew he was going to take this game to the next level. I didn't expect this from Sabonis. I thought he was going to be the same old regular, nice all-star that just chokes in the playoffs. Now, that's the thing. This play that he's doing right now, great. But we got to see if he does this in the playoffs. That's why I was hesitant to put him on this list. But I got to. I got to respect what he's doing right now. And that's go- that's the list. And I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give me to 400 subscribers. Hell, give me to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. If y'all get this video to 10 likes, I will drop the five most disappointing players in the NBA so far. Thank y'all for tuning in this video. It's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.